This is my wedding guest slash bridesmaid makeup look. So I already applied uh, foundation, concealer, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, I am wearing some contacts from Iris Beauty. And they sent them to me to try out. There we go. So it's in the shade Emerald Green. Right now, this eye seems to be a little red. I don't know why. Now let's talk about my eyebrows really quick. I'm not going to be touching them today. I'm not going to be doing anything today. I'm actually, I did my bangs like this because I don't like to see them right now. Because I recently got them microbladed. And right now, it's in the peeling process. So they look so uneven. They look like um, they're fading away and stuff. So in a few more weeks, I get to go and get my touch up and things will be a lot better for me and my eyebrows. So yeah, for now I'm just covering them up. We're not touching them. Okay, since I already applied, let me show you what foundation I use. It's the Hourglass Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation and this one's in porcelain. It is a bit light for my skin tone, so I mix it with the Estee Lauder Creamy Vanilla. Uh, this one is a little bit darker for my skin tone. So mixing them helps a lot and it evens it out a little bit for me. For the concealers, I use two concealers. So I use the Tarte Shape Tape one and I apply that one mostly under my eyes because this covers the most. So after the uh, Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Neutral, I apply the Bare Minerals powder in Well Rested. And I tend to apply this one kind of all over my face too. I guess you can say I set my foundation with it, which, I mean, it works for me, so I always do that. So now I'm going to be moving on to contouring my face. And I'm going to start with this Play 101 stick. <laughs> So over that, I'm going to be applying a powder. And this is the L'Oreal True Match uh, Lumi Bronze It in the shade 01 Light Clay. So now with my powder brush, actually I use this for foundation. I am going to blend a little more. Next, I am applying blush on my cheeks or the apples on my cheeks. You can only focus. Okay, and I am using the Tarte blush in Party with three A's. There goes the baby, I hear her crying. <laughs> My poor husband's trying to help me out with her today, just so I could film. I haven't filmed for so long, it feels weird. So now we're moving on to highlight. This is the Too Faced Love Light in Blinded by Light, and I really love this. I got it for Christmas, my youngest sister got it for me, and I had not looked into it before. When I started using it, I fell in love with it. Well, I usually use my finger to apply the highlight. Now I'm going to move on to the eyes. I will be using the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. We're going to be starting off with this shade down here. This one here is the All Natural. I'm applying that all over my lid. I'm going to apply a little bit with my pinky finger. It's always easier for me to use my fingers for some reason. To this shade right here. This shade is called Less Is More. I'll be applying this shade on my crease right here. 
the outer part right here and stopping in the middle in the center like right here all the way to the outer corner we start to blend now we're moving on to this shade right here and I am applying that on the outer corner, just like this spot right here. Once we're done blending, we're gonna add a little bit more to the outer corner once again, but this time using a really thin brush. We're just gonna dab a little bit of it Now on my brow bone, I'm going to be using the shade Heaven. So this product here is to draw in my eyebrows. And before I microbladed my brows, this is the one I would use. But other than using it for my eyebrows, I would also use it for my bottom lid. And um, it comes with a little brush, which is pretty cool. But today I will be using it for my bottom lid. And I'm just going to apply it like on the outer corner. Paint brush. And I'm just going to blend it. I'm going to go back to the shade here. I'm going to blend a little bit of it over the color I just applied. Now with the same flat brush I used for my brow bone and the same shade Heaven here, I am applying that just on the inner corners of my bottom lid all the way to the tear duct right here. Blending it. with my pinky finger. I'm applying a little bit of that to my tear ducts. I'm gonna grab a pencil white liner, body crayon I guess, that's what it says. Never knew that. I'm gonna apply that on my bottom waterline. This is the Lash Gloss Volume Mascara by CoverGirl and this is in Brown Brum. I really like applying brown mascaras on my bottom lashes. I feel like the black mascaras make it look too harsh so my favorite thing to do is use brown mascara. I'm moving on to eyeliner liquid liner now iris beauty sent me these products a few months back and i've been using these products uh, ever since i received them this is my go-to eyeliner recently i also really love the um tart um tardiest eyeliner and it has a liquid liner on this side a pencil liner on this side i finished the pencil liner it's all gone there's still some of the liquid liner but ever since I got this one, this is the one I've been using. So we're going to create a thin winged eyeliner look. But I also like to go in with a black eyeshadow. Gotta go get one. I always go for my Naked Urban Decay Basics palette. I really love the black eyeshadow that it comes with. And I only use this eyeshadow for my eyeliner. And I don't tend to use much of it. Because it's only just a tiny bit to even it all out. As you can tell, I finished all the other ones mostly. I'm going to get an angled brush. 
and a little bit of that black eyeshadow dust out the excess because that always goes right under my eye and then I have to redo my concealer sometimes why don't I just do it without the foundation first I don't know So I'm just going to be doing this side and I'll be right back. Next step, oh yes, I'm gonna fill in my little mole over here. Concealer and everything just kind of covers it. Moving on to the top lashes. This is also from Iris Beauty. Yes, they sent me magnetic lashes. I've only used these once before. And what I realized I like to do with these lashes is add a little bit of lash glue to the corners, only on the top lash. Right here. And I only like applying on the outer corners because the magnetic part does stay pretty well but I always have a hard time with the outer corners and it's a lot easier to clean every time I take them off well, it was easy to clean that one time I took them off I always have a hard time with the outer part of my lashes with mascara for some reason they're always uneven so my favorite eyelashes to use are these kind that pretty much just add some volume to the outer edge because I like the more natural look with lashes for the most part sometimes I do like the dramatic ones but my favorite ones are the more natural looking ones. But if you guys have some magnetic eyelashes at home and you're having a hard time with them, I recommend you use this technique. Um, it really helps. Curling them also helps them connect to each other. My real lashes with the fake lashes. While this one dries, I'm going to grab some mascara. So this is a Too Faced um, Better Than Sex Mascara. I have to admit this is not my favorite mascara, but since I already bought it, I'm using it up. I don't like wasting makeup. And just, it's not better than sex. gonna grab this brush right here super thin and my Sephora liquid lipstick I don't remember the name but I will leave it in the description box this lipstick it's too purple for me so I like to grab a red lipstick I'm just gonna apply that on the center of my lips with my pinky finger I'm gonna blend it all over my lips just in case anybody was wondering that's the primer I use before I apply my foundation concealer so I am letting you know that I did partner with Iris Beauty Cosmetics for this video and I have to say I really like their products. Um, I'm not sure which one is my favorite. The contacts are a beautiful shade of green and they're very comfortable to wear. The liquid liner, I'm pretty much all done with it. I love the fact that the lashes are reusable and magnetic. I had never tried magnetic lashes before this and I love how natural they look. I also really liked the eyebrow pencil and I liked that I can use it in other ways as well. It's very pigmented and I love the shade. My opinions for these products are 100% my opinion and usually when I agree to partner with somebody to make a video, I tend to research what they've got to offer first and if I like it, 
or I think I'm going to like it, I accept it. So with that said, if you are interested in these products or want to check out their website, I do have a coupon code for you guys. You can get 15% off using the code CINDY45. I'll also be leaving it down in the description box.